Hi guys, uh, today we are going to learn about some trigonometric identities. But before we learn some trigonometric identities, we need to sketch some, uh, you know, simple trigonometric equations curve. Because once you solve trigonometric identities and the last part of the trigonometric identities, when you get the factors, then you need to sketch it. So first you need to learn the sketch and this is related to the trigonometric identities, then we will solve. Okay, so let's see uh, how we sketch it. Let's take a uh, first example that is sine theta equal to 1 by 2. So let's take first example that is sine theta equal to 1 by 2. So if you see here, uh, with 1 by 2, there is no negative sign. So it is positive, yeah? It is positive. And we will use cost diagram. So cost, uh, cost diagram, I am going to name it add sugar to coffee. So once we write down A, that is A. A means all positive here in this first quadrant. Then sugar, S. So it is S. Only S is positive. That is sign is positive in this quadrant. Then T that is for 10 only 10 is positive in this quadrant and C for cos here yeah, that is coffee so add sugar to coffee here only A means all trigonometric functions sine cos 10 they are positive in this quadrant here only sine is positive here only 10 is positive and here only cos is positive so if you see here sine theta is 1 by 2 if we take mm, uh, theta equal to sine inverse of 1 over 2 so you need to press shift button of uh, your calculator and then type 1 over 2 and you will get sine inverse 1 over 2 is that is 30 degree so theta is equal to 30 degree so here you need to remember one important thing this is the this is the really important part of this sketching if you understood this then you will understand so remember acute angle made acute angle made by x axis here so remember this is what we are going to do acute angle made with x axis so this is really important acute angle made with x axis this is what we are going to look yeah and this will give you answer here yeah? this is shortcut way so theta is sine inverse 1 by 2 30 so theta is positive so it is sine so where sine is positive sine is positive here so let's draw a line okay so sine is positive here and sine is positive here. So we always draw in a pair. So let's write down here. This is 30 degree and we can also write down here. This is 30 degree. Okay. Now if you see so your first angle will be this green angle. Yeah, that is 30 degree. So let's write down here. Theta is 30 degree. Once you start moving from here. So your next angle will be you are going all the way from here here okay so this is how much this full angle is 180 180 take away 30 that is 150 degree so green angle is 30 degree red angle is 150 degree that is your first answer and here theta is running between 360 degree to 0 degree yeah or you can say theta is dancing between 0 and 360 yeah so we have taken two values if we take now sine positive value let's take sine negative value so sine of theta and it is equal to minus 2 over 5 so this is minus 2 over 5 so what is here so let's write down here negative so let's calculate theta is equal to sine inverse minus 2 over 5 press shift button of your calculator and if you calculate then it comes minus 23.57 okay degrees yeah make sure your calculator should be on degree mode so uh, theta is running between 0 to 360 now the sine is negative so where sine is negative let's write down here it is add sugar to coffee here all positive sine positive so it means sine will be negative here in this quadrant and this quadrant important one acute angle made with x axis that is 23.57 so let's write down here 23.57 
and this is also 23.57 now first angle so we we are going to measure from here so first angle this is green angle until here so 180 plus 23.6 so it will be 203.6 that is your green angle 203.6 and the next angle we are going to take uh, from here that is blue angle all the way around until here so this is whole angle is 360 let's do it this way 360 take away 23.57 so 360 uh, take away 23.57 or you can round it 23.6 so it will be 336.4 yeah i have rounded it yeah so uh, 360 take away 23.6 yeah 23.57 i have taken as 23.6 so we have got this one so nice and easy so we have taken sign with positive sign with negative now we are going to see cos with positive so let's quickly take if cos of x is root 3 over 2 so x will be cos inverse root 3 over 2 and cos inverse root 3 over 2 is 30 degree yeah so make sure that what is here cos is positive so write down here add sugar to coffee so where cos is positive cos is positive here and cos is positive here acute angle made with x axis that is 30 degree and this is 30 degree acute angle made with 30 degree now let's measure first angle so your first angle will be this one yeah your first angle will be this so first angle will be 30 degree here also x is running between uh, 360 degree to 0 degree sometimes we take theta sometimes we take x sometimes we take a so uh, 30 degree yes now next angle you take all the way full round here cross 270 and you are coming here so this is 360 take away 30 360 take away 30 is 330 degree so these are two answers between uh sorry this is theta between theta and 360 degree now when cos x is negative let's take cos mm, x is minus 2 over 3 so here it is negative so press shift uh, button of your calculator and calculate cos inverse 2 over 3 and it is coming 131.81 yeah so 131.81 so again we need to focus on what acute angle this one acute angle made with x axis yeah so now how we can make so see here cos is negative let's decide write down add sugar to coffee now acute angle made with x axis and it is negative so where cos will be negative cos will be negative here and cos will be negative here here and here cos is positive yeah so uh, and acute angle made with x axis so this angle is 131 right if you see here this is 131 so what about this angle so 180 take away 131.81 so this will be 48.19 yeah so let's write down here 48.19 here and this is also 48.19 here now so first angle will be first angle will be if you see here uh, for cos so this angle will be this angle that is 131 uh, 131.81 so this is your first angle 131.81 this dot here yeah? now next angle will be uh, this red one take all the way around from here cross 180 and then you are coming here yeah so 180 plus 48.19 so it will be 228.19 so let's add it 228.19 so we got two angles here we have seen when cos is positive then we are going to do like this when cos is negative we are going to like this now next one let's take 10 examples suppose 7 10 theta is 1 7 10 theta equal to 1 so 10 theta is equal to 1 over 7 so theta is equal to 10 inverse 1 over 7 so once we calculate 10 inverse 7 it comes 8.13 okay so here uh, it is positive so we need to see where uh, 10 is positive at sugar to 
coffee. So where 10 is positive, let's see. So 10 is positive here, okay, and 10 is positive here in 10 section. Acute angle made with x-axis, so this is our x-axis. So it is 8.13, this is point, and this is 8.13, yeah? Now, if we, uh, so first angle will be, first angle will be 8.13, if you measure from here, so this will be 8.13. Next angle will be, if you see this red angle is starting from here all the way, 180 and 180 plus 8.13. 180 plus 8.13, it will be 188.13. So it will be 188.13. So these are two angles. Now when 10 will be negative, so let's take 10 theta is minus 11 over 3. So here it is negative. So once we calculate theta, theta is 10 inverse minus 11 over 3. So that is minus 74.74. It will be minus 74.74. So where, where 10 is negative? So let's write down. It is add sugar to coffee. Where 10 is negative? So 10 is negative in this section, second quadrant, and 10 is negative here in cos 1. Okay. Acute angle made with x-axis we need to take here. Yeah. So acute angle, so it will be 74.74. And it is also 74.74. Okay. So angle made with um, x axis is 74.74. So first angle will be this here. So 180 take away 74.74. So see here. This is first angle. So it is 180 take away 74.74. So first angle is 105.26. Yeah. So it is 105.26. This red angle here. Yeah. Now. Let's take green angle. So all the way you are going there and this you are crossing 270 and you are reaching here. So this is 360 take away 74.74 that is 285.26 here. So it will be 285.26. Nice and easy. This is the way you can uh, see. So when 10 theta is negative positive we have done 10 theta is negative. We have done similarly when uh, uh, cos theta uh, is positive and negative we have done when sine theta is positive and negative we have done so we have learned all the trigonometric functions if you know all these things then things will be very easy for you yeah so uh, now please do not forget to watch my next video because that is based on trigonometry identities and we are going to uh, sketch this diagram at the end of the questions yeah uh, thank you very much and thanks for watching. Goodbye.